My name is Kaylin Kozlowski and this is my protein model project. So I used marshmallows and pasta to model the protein. Um, the green is hydrogen, the red is nitrogen, blue is oxygen, yellow is carbon, um, purple will be the alpha carbon, and then white will be the R groups, and later on I'm going to talk about trans and cis, and since a majority of proteins prefer trans to cis, um, that'll be the happy face, and cis will be the, the frowning face. So. Um, so this is just an amino acid, so right here we have nitrogen with the three hydrogens, and over here we have the carboxyl group, so the OH, and one um, of the H's from the nitrogen will form the, will leave to form the peptide bond and the condensation reaction. So now I'll show that over here. So over here, I already have a trans two amino acid structure set up. So it's a very short sequence right now. And now we're going to add on a third amino, or, yeah, third amino acid to the sequence. And so the OH is going to leave the carboxyl group. And it is going to, one of the hydrogen is going to leave the amine group. And together they will form water, so H2O and that'll go away. Um, and then the nitrogen forms a peptide bond with the carbon that's now carbonyl carbon and now you have a longer sequence. So now I have three amino acids in my sequence and this is all trans because the R groups are all alternating or far away from each other. Down here though I have cis where my two R groups are not happy because they are on the same side instead of alternating like up here and um, this usually makes them unhappy because if for example this is a negative charge and this is a negative charge then that will cause a lot of steric interaction and interference in, um, in the structure and, and make it less stable so they don't like that. Um, and then over here I'm going to detach this amino acid again in order to show rotation um, so, the bonds in between, so this was the peptide bond that I just broke off again, but the bond in between the nitrogen and the alpha carbon, if any rotation here happens, that's called the um, phi rotation, and from the alpha carbon to the carbonyl carbon is called psi rotation, and if you look at it straight on, see if I can line it up with the camera, um, from the alpha carbon down with the nitrogen down here, then any rotation this way is negative and any rotation this way is positive. And this is our OH group up here so that will leave and there will be another nitrogen here um, with another amino acid if it were to form another peptide bond. But since it's not right now it's just an OH group. But So this way is negative and this way is positive. Um, and this once again would be psi rotation and this one would be um, phi rotation. And so that is my amino acid project. Thank you.